Hello, I'm from the Australian Government. Now that we have a seat at the Human Rights Council, we'd like to announce our plan for making the world a better place. Selling arms. That's right, our Minister for Offence has just launched the Australian Military Sales Catalogue, full of all your basic essentials for murdering, maiming and blowing up humans. Guns. Ammo. Rockets. Need a tank. We've got it and so much more. Honey's War House. But don't worry, we'll only sell weapons to our friends and allies like Saudi Arabia, which is currently slaughtering thousands in Yemen, triggering a massive cholera outbreak. It's also the world's leading sponsor of terrorism. But that didn't stop our piney from going there to make some sweet deal. Or Indonesia, which needs all the help it can get from us to carry out its ongoing genocide in West Papua. And the Philippines, where Aussie-made guns might one day be used by this maniac to shoot women in the... Wait, what the f***? Honey's War House. It's all part of our death policy to turn Australia into one of the world's top 10 exporters of arms so Australia can profit directly from escalating wars which in turn will create more refugees to whom we can turn our backs when they flee to our shores. It's a perfect plan. That's why we're investing $200 billion into debt most of which will go to offshore defence contractors who just happen to be some of our most generous donors. Why didn't we invest that money into our car manufacturing industry or into renewables or into medical research to prevent dementia? The second leading cause of death in Australia. The answer of course is that here at the Australian government we're a bunch of seriously sick motherfuckers. That's why we're not only planning to export arms, Dutto's also trying to change our laws so we can have more guns inside Australia. And if you don't like it, well, you're dead to him. Ch -ch Boom! So what you waiting for? As Piney says, Do yourself a favour and go out and get the military sales catalogue. Piney's War House! The lowest morals are just the beginning. Authorised by the department for blowing up people whose orphan children will later deny a refugee visa. Unless they're white South African.